All right, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Nick Paolo, uh, Assistant Vice President of our Health Sales Division. Uh, today, we want to kind of go over uh, a lot of different tools and different technology that we have available to you. Um, naturally, as everybody knows, we're kind of a lot more focused on selling over the phone lately and, um, you know, haven't had as many opportunities to meet face to face. So I want to take us some time to go over a lot of the different options that are available to you already if you're contracted with Pinnacle or if you're looking to. Um, these tools will all be available to you at no cost. Um, so I'm going to dive in. I just want to hit a couple housekeeping items. Um, all lines will be muted. If you have any questions, just throw them in the chat. Um, I'll try and answer them as I go, but uh, most of the questions I will hold till the end, um, just in consideration of your time. So we're going to jump in right now. Uh, one thing I like to make sure everybody's aware of is how to contact us. Uh, we are not hiding from you. We'd love to speak to you and love to work with you on uh, growing your business and anything else you may need. Uh, so right now we're at the Pinnacle homepage, pfsinsurance.com. This is where you'll find all of our information, all of our readily available resources. Uh, so I'm just going to hover over the About section right here, go to Contact Our Team, and I'm going to hit our sales team. And um, our health division is broken up by territories, um, not necessarily East Coast, West Coast. So you'll see here, um, here are your marketers for these states right here. And you also have Marcus, James, and Jeff handling the rest of the country. Uh, now, if you may be working with myself or uh, one of my other teammates and not necessarily be in one of those states listed, that is okay. We can still assist you. And any questions that may be very local that we may not know off the top of our head, these gentlemen are here to assist you as well. Um, and real quickly, we'll also go to support. Uh, one of the things Pinnacle prides itself on is our back office support. Uh, personally, and speaking to my agents, I like to ask around as I'm talking uh, day to day. Uh, naturally, you know, my job is to bring on more agents, and I ask, you know, what are the biggest values to you guys? We have all this technology, we have, you know, all these lead programs, everything under the sun, you name it, we have it. And one of the biggest the most frequent responses I get is your support is incredible. I can always get somebody on the phone. Anything I need gets taken care of uh, quickly and efficiently. So um, here's all of our support staff and business operations, exactly how you can contact them directly. And uh, I just wanted to make sure you knew exactly how to get to who you may need to speak to. I'm just gonna breeze over a couple of highlights right here under services. Um, Agent Vision, we're not going to go into today. That's its own, its own uh, platform. It's actually a data aggregator, which pulls all of your clients' information directly from the carriers into that data aggregator. So you can review your book of business, see if any you know, clients have been terminated that you did not realize or you weren't aware of, run production reports, things of that nature. We do have a certification tab. Uh, this will give you the information on every MA carrier certification process with a walkthrough of how to get in, what's required, everything there. So great reference tools. We have discounted CEs uh, through Web CE. So when it's time to recertify, uh, you can go right to our website and that'll bring you right to Web CE. Uh, discounted E&O through Cal Assurance. Um, that has been the best price we have gotten so far from anybody over the last couple of years. It's currently $400 per year. Um, and then we have a great, a lot of other different little features. Naturally, if you want to see some information on our lead programs. And um, the two other things I want to point out specifically is our secure email portal. Uh, so if you're still writing paper apps or you have anything you need to send securely, you can utilize that. Uh, to send everything to Pinnacle securely. And um, our webinars. This is something I like to point out naturally. Uh, you know, today's a perfect example, but we have tons of webinars that we've done uh, in the last couple of years at this point. If you were to click right here on webinar recordings, it'll bring up our entire library, um, starting with some of the featured videos. So these are all on demand for you. So 
Uh, if you register for one at one point, you missed it, or you know you have to jump off today early, it'll be available for you to view at your leisure. Uh, one last thing I just do want to point out while we're on the site, uh, we started this actually just about exactly a year ago now. Um, I think the 23rd was the last time Pinnacle employees were working in the office for quite some time. So we developed this virtual tool center. Um, you would have a slider pops up for it to access, or you can click right here. And this is just an area that we've compiled everything you could possibly need right now, just selling in the midst of this pandemic. Um, everything from sales tools, showing you the different carriers, online enrollment tools or telephonic scopes and everything, um, all the way down to just what's going on. CDC updates, uh, if there's any FEMA SDPs for certain areas. So uh, this is an excellent resource. When you get a moment, maybe take some time, look around. Uh, there should definitely be at least a few things that are gonna help you out. Uh, with that, I wanna jump into uh, one of our first tools. Uh, one of our oldest tools that's regularly utilized, and that's our Medicare quote engine. We have a few different features. We actually have three different online platforms for our Medicare agents now. We have this quoting tool we're just about to jump into, and we're actually the only FMO in the country right now that's offering both online enrollment tools for Medicare products. Uh, so we're gonna dive into them in just a minute. So this platform allows you to quote MA, MedSup, Final Expense, HIP, Dental, um, all at one spot. I tend to favor it for the MedSup more than anything. And um, if I'm going to do a quote for a client for MA, it also has a couple of cool features. Um, so we're going to breeze over this real quick. I don't want to take too much of your afternoon or morning. Uh, so we're going to jump into a sample med sub quote. So I'm just going to use a local zip here. I'll leave everything the same. We'll make it a 4-1. As you see, you can do the age, tobacco, none, and we're going to do a plan G. Hit get quote. And here you have your carriers in order of price. So we can do a few things from here. If we'd like to look at maybe Capital, Aetna, and Lumico side by side, we're just gonna click right here. You see this bar is red or green. Once it turns green, it gets loaded up here to the left. We can click right here, compare quotes. And now we have a side by side comparison uh, the thing I like about this the most is if there's household discounts offered, it'll show you, it'll show you what the rate would be with the household discount, and it gives you your annual, if there's any policy fees. So you can really compare apples to apples. Uh, as far as downloading the quote, right here, you can download it into a PDF. Um, I always add the additional details to the PDF. It is not necessary if, if you don't prefer. And it's taking just a moment here to generate. And here you go, you have a nice clean quote that you can share with your client or review um, the carrier side by side. So that's a great feature. Um, I wanna pop back real quick to where it's showing our carriers. Now there's a few features here uh, that, that really come in handy. If you know the client uh, is, maybe you have a husband and wife enrolling at the same time and they're gonna qualify for any disc household discounts, you can simply select apply discounts and it's gonna adjust the rate. Uh, one of my favorites is actually the health conditions right here. So if you click add condition and we're just gonna say, Oops. 
So we'll say CHF. You're going to notice right here, it's going to tell you, okay, for Nassau life, the look back period is two years. Um, and that's usually fairly standard. And it's going to, just going to save you some of that time of going through those underwriting guides and things like that. And that's the purpose of everything we provide is um, convenience and maximizing your time in the field and minimizing your time in the office. So a um, couple great features here. I don't want to go into MedAdvantage on this platform too much, but I do want to show you a quick sample of a feature in here uh, that a lot of our agents utilize. So I'm going to once again just use this local zip. If you notice, you can add LIS in there if you need to. Now, once again, you can complain, uh, compare the plans side by side, as I showed you with the med subs. But the uh, feature I wanted to show you specifically today is the fill the gaps feature. So um, a lot of our agents still, as many times as we go through it with them, are not taking the time to maximize their uh, appointments with these clients. Um, we've consistently been showing our agents how to add hospital indemnity plans onto the uh, MAs when they're selling. And this has made it a lot easier for them to identify exactly what they need for those policies. So we have our, our information on all the MA plan right here. We're just gonna click this button up here, fill the gaps. And it will make you put in the client's info again one more time. Now, GTL is pretty much the standard in our industry. We do have various companies that offer um, hospital indemnity plans, but GTL is kind of our go-to. Uh, and the 10-day benefit is the most commonly used, so that's what we're going to use today for the comparison. We're just going to click Add to Comparison here. Now, most instances, you will have to hit this Show Additional Details up here at the top. And you're going to see this is going to help you build the plan around the Med Advantage plan that you're looking at selling that client. So, ambulance is a 270 copay. If we want to cover that, maybe we'll make that 300. And then I'm going to skim down. There's a lot of different riders you can uh, offer here. They have lump, lump sum cancer, uh, they have additional hospital inpatient benefits. We're going to scroll down all the way to the hospital. So here we go, hospital confinement, you see side by side, 275 for days one through six. So let's give them 280 in coverage. All right, it looks like, looks like we froze up here. Um, so we'll just leave that at the 250 a day. So we don't have to play with that too much. And um, you're gonna see, uh, the point is they are going to add the premium adjusted based on uh, what the daily rate is. Having a little bit of problems with this new laptop here, so I apologize. But you'll see once you change the benefit amount, it's going to update the premium for the EMA or for the hospital indemnity. You know, $20 a month coupled with a zero premium MA uh, should be pretty feasible for the average client, especially, especially to cover those out-of-pocket expenses. Uh, so that's our CSG platform. This is also offered in a mobile version. If you go to the App Store, whether it's uh, Android or Apple, type in Pinnacle Quoting. It should be the first or second one that comes up, and you'll see our logo, and you can download it for free. It is a separate registration. Uh, it does not work with the same password that you log into our website. So you will have to click register once you download the app. Um, but that's the gist of CSG. I want to dive into our bread and butter here. And that is our Connect for Medicare tools. So I'm already here, but I want to just show you. You can simply go to connectformedicare.com, the number four. <clears throat> and this used to take us directly to an enrollment platform, uh, but we realized Connection and Sunfire, while they do the same thing, both have uh, some features the other doesn't. So we like 
to offer our agents the opportunity to utilize whichever one they prefer and uh, feel best suits their needs. So we're going to start here with Connecture. Here's your login page. We're just going to get logged in here. Now, if you've used Connecture in the past, you'll notice there's a lot of different updates. It doesn't look quite the same. Uh, they've been trying to optimize it based on the feedback we give them regularly. Uh, they actually just added a new feature that's huge. I'm going to be showing you guys in just a minute here. Uh, so you can go directly to plans and start reviewing plans. We're going to start out building a sample profile here. We're filling out the basic info. We're going to save that. And then we're going to continue on to our scope. So here's the first example of one of the features that's excellent. Uh, both of them, both Sunfire and Connector do offer this now. You can either email or text the scope of appointment. Uh, you would simply enter the client's phone number here. It's going to send them a text uh, with a link in it. They'll click the link, complete the scope, hit submit, and they're all good to go. And you'll see right here it says you have no SOA for this profile. Once you send it and they complete it, it will pop up with the scope of appointment confirmation number, and you can download a PDF of the scope if you'd like. Uh, from here, we're going to go to our ad preferences, and uh, you're going to see very similar to what it used to be, just a little bit different of a look. We'll leave it and Medicare and prescription, and I'm just going to say no here. We have 65 to 69, and I'm trying to buzz through this for you guys. So uh, we're at the prescription. So there's uh, another new feature they added here, the blue button. So if your client happens to have a MyMedicare.gov account, uh, save you quite a bit of time, especially if they have a lot of medication. They can simply link their MyMedicare.gov account to here, and it'll pull all their prescriptions directly into the system. It'll also come in handy if you utilize this program the following year because those scripts will be updated. Uh, but we're just going to add two in here for sample purposes. All right, so we've got Humalog and the Cinepro in here. We're going to move on. And uh, we have pharmacies all listed right here. Uh, one thing is if you do not see them, you can either zoom out um, or a feature that we have been asking for for two years now has been to be able to search. Oops, go there wrong. Um, be able to search for the drug rather than scroll through. And um, now you see all the Walgreens will pop right up. So that's uh, something that's been asked for for a while. They were finally able to get that done. So we're going to uh, add Walgreens right here, and we're going to continue on. All right, so we have all of our plans here. Um, now from here, you have quite a few options. You can add to a quote and start comparing them. You can look at the plan details on that specific plan. So we'll click on that real quick. And you see this gives you a breakdown of everything you need to know about the plan. And if you click here on the prescriptions tab, it's going to give you your total cost on the drug. And if you do hit total cost, it will break down their drug cost by month, let you know if they're going into the coverage gap at all. If they do go into the gap, it's going to give you the co-pays based on those months you're in the gap and then catastrophic. Um, so everything you would have had on Medicare.gov, just a little easier to use. At any point, once we get the plans, you're able to add to cart and start the enrollment right away. Uh, we're going to jump into that in just a moment here. I'm just going to back up. Backed up a little bit too far. Sorry about that. So I want to show you that feature I was talking about a minute ago. This is the biggest uh, thing they've added so far, and it's truly now made us 
not dependent on Medicare.gov or anything else. And that is right here, add non-licensed plans. So you are not able to enroll clients in these plans, but when you're doing your research and your fact finding, and you wanna know every product that's available to this client, whether you can offer it or not, you now have the ability to see that all right there. So um, that's a huge feature. And you'll see if it's something that you're not able to sell, it's not going to give you the ability to enroll. So um, great feature, we love it. And um, this tool has been amazing. We've been using this about five years now. And I can tell you, uh, because we were actually the first user of, of this platform, we were fortunate to have our agents very well trained and very well versed on using this. Uh, so when COVID first hit around this time last year, uh, they did not take nearly uh, the type of hit on their business that they as they could have. Um, so they were kind of ahead of the game there. Uh, now we'll jump into how to actually enroll this client. So we're going to hit add to cart. And this is a very important part right here. So you'll see you have send the beneficiary to sign and submit or complete and submit form myself. If you are planning to utilize the text to enroll feature, you must check this before you move on. Now, this is a demo account, so it's not going to let me actually complete an application, and I don't want to spend 15 minutes putting fake info in there, but I will show you how everything works real quick. You see there's four steps, and the fourth step is just review and submit. Uh, if you have all the client's info ready or if they're on the phone reading it off to you, you should be able to knock out this app in 10, 15 minutes tops. Uh, at the end, on the review and submit page, you'll see down at the bottom, it'll look exactly like it just did when I showed you the scope of appointment a little bit earlier. You can enter their email or uh, phone number. You would text them. Uh, when you do hit text, it gives you an authorization code. You're going to have to give that authorization code to the client so they can get into the app because they have to keep that secure and actually it's got all the client's information in there. So they type in the code, acknowledge, sign the app. Uh, some carriers, have you, you're able to sign with your finger. Others, you just check a box, or sometimes you type your name in. So depending on the carrier, maybe slightly different, but everything is uh, very simple. And that is our connector platform. Um, there's some little features here and there you want to play with. It does you, uh, work as a bit of a CRM uh, when we go oh gosh when we go back home you'll see the very first page was your dashboard to search for clients so um, it, once you start using this for a little while you'll be able to see all your clients already in there with all their drugs and all their information stored so you would just search the beneficiary and they'll come right up last thing I'd like to show you on this platform is a personal URL or Perl, as you may have heard. You go here to account overview. You're going to see copy link right here. So we're going to copy that link. And this will be your personal consumer facing website. Uh, you can put this on Facebook, on your own website. Uh, wherever you would like, we've actually been assisting ages in person purchasing domains through GoDaddy and uh, back uh, backlinking it. So, you know, if it's gomedicare.com, we can add that link directly to this page. And uh, clients can type in their zip, shop plans on their own, and even enroll. Anything they enroll in, uh, they automatically get credit. Uh, just to give you an idea, um, this year, we are actually quite surprised. For AAP alone, we had, I think it was 15 or 1,600 applications go through these consumer-facing links, which we were even a bit shocked by. Um, and, you know, that could have been 1,500 apps we may not have ever had. 
uh, you know, there's no way to determine for sure, but I'll take that all day. So um, if you do not have a website at all, at the least, you should spend the $15 for a domain and have us help you link this to that domain. Um, we have Robert Valencius, who's our head of national agent training. He can assist you with that very easily. His extension is 7701. And um, I can help you as well. I'm very familiar with it. I've done it numerous times. Uh, so this is an excellent tool you should be using without question. Uh, so that was Connexure. We're going to jump into our other platform now. And that would be Sunfire. So Sunfire opened right up for us. They do have a login screen. Looks very similar to the uh, Connexure site. If you're already contracted and licensed with us and uh, you know you're ready to sell for at least one carrier, you can shoot us an email. You can shoot myself an email or uh, right to support health at pfsinsurance.com and they'll get you your login credentials immediately. Um, myself, as well as all of our other sales directors, would be happy to give you a personal one-on-one -on -one walkthrough also. Um, so just keep that in mind. So this is our Sunfire dashboard here. Uh, we have several different features right from the dashboard. You're going to see all your clients uh, that you're working on right now are going to be down here. But we're going to start off naturally with our scope. The one thing, as I mentioned, you know, both platforms have their pluses and minuses or, uh, you know, Sunfire has a few things, Connection doesn't have and vice versa. Um, you can do your email scope, your text scope, or complete an upload. So before I jump into text, this is a feature I really like. I have a lot of agents that are utilizing tablets out in the field, whether they're surfaces or iPads or whatnot. So, um, and they were taking paper scopes. It's, it's unnecessary at this point. You have your scope right here, you fill it out, and the client signs for them with their finger, with your mouse, whatever you got. So uh, just another easy way to keep it paperless. The text scope, um, this is where one thing I, I feel is a little advantage over the way Connexure does it, and that's because the agent can still fill out the scope on the client's behalf for the most part. And then you'll scroll right down here. It's not going to let me text because I didn't fill it out. But you'll click text. The box right here will pop up with an uh, area to put the phone number in. Put the phone in. Uh, send text. And you're good to go. Once again, they will receive a link. Uh, there's a lot of scrolling, you know, a lot of disclaimers. They get to the bottom, click uh, that they acknowledge, and hit submit. So nice and simple. So we're done with our scopes here. Let's get back to our dashboard and actually start on a client. So we're going to hit quote and enroll. Use our zip. And right here, all you need is the zip. Um, if you're going to do med stuff on here, you can put that information in here. But um, we're going to stick with MA for right now. You can adjust for LIS. I'm just going to leave that at none and hit save. Now, it takes you directly to the plan. I like to back up a little bit and make sure my data is accurate. So, um, census is where you are, where you started. Medications is where you want to get to next. So this is where we're going to enter our drugs and we'll use the same drugs here. And milligrams and then you're just going to click add over here. And we'll put our Humalog in. So we have all our drugs loaded. Here is these two features now uh, were both kind of unique to Sunfire, as I just showed you, uh, Connexion now does have the ability to search pharmacies. So our current pharmacy, CVS, that's good. We can leave that big. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> this right here is unique to Sunfire, and I love this feature. So you can add the plan that the client is currently on. So we're just going to say they're on an ARP plan, too. 
And as you see, it's going to put their current plan up at the top. Now, you have a few different ways of looking at this information. You can look at it based on cost, benefits, or savings. So I generally like to take a look at plan cost and savings. So you're going to see right here, um, ARP in this instance actually looks to be the best plan based on the drugs that this client has. Um, but should there have been any differences, it would have told you, okay, we're going to save $100 here on your drugs. Um, so you're in good shape. They're in good shape in this plan in this scenario. Uh, you can compare the plan side by side by checking right here and hit compare. You have all your information side by side. And then if you want to look at your drug cost, you can click right here on drug cost details. And that will give you your break jam breakdown just like you were looking at the uh, same thing in connection. So um, overall, they're able to do pretty much the same. There's just a couple different features. The last feature I want to show you on here would be the doctor lookup. Um, personally, this is my favorite feature. Um, when I'm assisting agents on a regular basis, I'm used to logging into this carrier's drug lookup or a provider lookup tool or that carrier or another. Here, we simply select our city, state, or zip. Just going to use a local doctor here, Robert Topkis. Continue. We want to make sure we got the correct address. We'll hit select. And you can put in multiple doctors. Um, we're just going to leave Robert in for now. You're going to see either a red X or a green check. So we know he's in network for Sigma. He's out of network for ARP. Um, so this should save you a lot of time, especially if you put two or three doctors in here. Um, this will give you an idea of exactly who you can and can't use. So um, I, I love that. It saves me time from logging in a UHC, seeing they're not in UHC, and logging in Aetna, and so on. So um, great feature. And if you do want to double check yourself, you know, this technology is amazing, but you always want to be 100%. You can hit find doctors, and it'll take you directly to that carrier provider lookup. So um, excellent, excellent feature of the tool. And the last thing I wanted to show you, I, in my opinion, this program is a little bit more uh, user-friendly. But I want to show you, once again, if you go over here where your login is and hit profile, they offer their own Perl as well. So it all boils down to preference here. You know, do you like how this website's set up versus the other? Um, either way, you have two available to you. You pick which one you like, and we'll get you going from there. Uh, I, I mentioned it. I want to reiterate. Uh, we haven't done meetings in person now in about a year, um, unfortunately, with COVID. But I've been talking about Connexure specifically for a couple of years now. And whenever I'm in my meetings and I, you know, I ask the room, okay, how many of you have a website? At least 40, 50% of them don't raise their hand. Uh, and, you know, in this day and age, especially with this last year, you have to have some type of web presence. So, you know, if you don't want to spend the time or money or you're not too confident in a website, this is a simple, easy solution. Give us a call. Do not hesitate to reach out. This is what we do. Um, other than that, I, I think that's about everything I wanted to make sure you all saw today. I'm going to uh, take a look and see if we have any questions here. Otherwise, I'm going to bring up the contact area one more time. It's our homepage, pfsinsurance.com. Contact our team, sales team. And actually, our support team is very well trained um, on the ins and outs of Connect for Medicare as well. So uh, 
don't hesitate. Anybody you contact should be able to help you out with it. So um, here's your sales team. Reach out. I don't see any questions today. Um, so I'm not going to keep you any longer. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate you all joining today and have a wonderful day.